My name is Tessa. I'm from St. Luke's Parish in Ankeny. As we reflect on the suffering of Jesus, it's really helpful, it has been for me, to remember that Jesus' suffering and Jesus' journey is ours. That he came to enter into our suffering. He came to show us how to be human in our suffering, to not only redeem it, but to show us how to walk that walk. So for me, I've had moments of big suffering, miscarriage that I've been very open with, and Jesus has always been very close to me in the darkness. But the last couple of years, I've really walked a journey of anxiety. And there's a story from Holy Week, from the Bible, from the last week of Jesus' earthly life that really spoke to me and helped me through my journey. It's when Mary Magdalene anoints his feet with oil and with her tears and dries his feet with her hair. And she's she's just accosted and they think it's so wasteful and why it's scandalous and it's wasteful, uh, it's expensive oil. Why, are they, why is she pouring this on his feet? And Jesus says, leave her alone. Um, basically, she's preparing me for my burial, but there's, so much to this and as a woman with a feminine heart somebody opened up the story for me like this that she knew you know with that that empathetic feminine spirit she could sense the anxiety of jesus because this happened within that last week they uh, mary martha and lazarus lived in bethany and that was kind of like the home base jesus and his disciples would go into jerusalem during the week and back to bethany in the evenings and so just imagine Jesus knowing everything that was waiting for him in Jerusalem that week. The weight of that on him had to have been palpable. And the men, the disciples kind of missed it. You know, they, they weren't catching on to what was going on. And Mary Magdalene probably didn't know what was happening, but she could feel the anxiety of Jesus in his humanity. And so she ministered to him. And what was so beautiful to me was that Jesus taught me to allow others to minister to me. He taught me to receive. So it's been, in a lot of ways, taught me to receive by asking for help, seeking therapy, uh, seeking spiritual direction, seeking him and his word, but seeking even a friend who uh, ministered to me in a time when the vocation was just overwhelming me, my vocation of motherhood and struggles that were going on in our family. And the house was a disaster. Just, it's always messy, but I mean, it was just overwhelming. And I canceled plans on a friend and she said, why don't I come clean with you? And I, everything in me wanted to say, no, I couldn't, no, I couldn't possibly let you come help me. But I remembered that Jesus, in his anxiety, allowed somebody to minister to him. It's just been a huge transformational encounter and lesson for me that Jesus shows us that it, it's okay to need each other, that we were made to need each other. And part of the grace of suffering is allowing others to walk with us um, and allowing others to be his hands and feet and heart. We weren't made to walk the journey alone. Jesus walks it with us and his body, the church, walks it with us.